Hello everyone, it's the Architects here. I have found this facade in Google and decided to share with you and model. As you can see here, there are lots of curved wall with this building. Modeling technique is a bit different than others because intersecting curved walls are a little harder according to straight walls. Let's see how this building was made. Alright, here we are in ArchiCAD. At the very first, we are going to change the unit system from the working units. Click the centimeter and click OK. We go to wall tool, change the structure to simple and change the wall thickness. And we are going to begin to create our plan. Before beginning this, I will sketch this facade into the paper. So I am looking there. But it was hard to estimate dimensions for the building, so I changed some values and decided into modeling process. For instance, we are going to leave a space for the facade, but I think it's going to be toilet or something like that. For this reason, when I am drawing this, I'm gonna make this part larger. In the example facade, this part is going to be curved wall. To achieve this first, or actually, we have two kind of process or options. First one is we just make straight corners. After that, we can turn them into curved walls. After doing this, we are going to place a window here. So in order to place a window here, we need an actual space. Thus, we need to increase this length of the wall. And from this corner, we switch to balcony. So we need deeper space for the balcony. And there will be 180 centimeters sliding door plus a closed facade attachment. And we finish the building by this ending wall. We can also connect this wall together and make a straight building. Now we continue from balcony, a standard balcony needs 150 centimeters. And after that we will have another curved wall and we continue modeling our basics. For this corner we are going to create a curved wall. We have two options here. We are gonna use arc by center point. Generally I'm using basic line and after creating that I turn them into a curved one. It suits me better, but for this situation I prefer creating curved walls from scratch. Once I created one of them, I'm gonna duplicate and with it I'll speed up my working process. Alright, once we created our main walls, I'm gonna change this wall into a parapet wall, so I'm gonna change the height. Its appearance changed because we changed its height. Once we created this, as you can see here, we have another corner. We are gonna turn this one into a curve. To make it, we are gonna click corner and click build chamfer. And same process will be applied here. Let's click this field chamfer and hit OK. There we go. This part is going to be our balcony. After making this, we are going to add our windows. To make windows, we are going to use simple windows or we can use a door. Maybe a sliding door. Let's click the door tool and let's go to sliding doors. We have sliding door 25 and we are gonna make this tree, hit OK and place. But before that, we can change its height and size but unfortunately as you can see here it's a little bit larger so we need to increase the size of the length of the building after doing that we can place our window same progress will be applied here we are just going to stretch our building to right 10 centimeters more and connect them together and also here and maybe towards this direction. 
All right, let's extend them together and finish them at the same point. We have a kind of problems here. Let's try to intersect them together again. And we have a gap here. Let's move these windows. We can intersect these two. And once we achieve this, we are going to create our second door, sliding door. Same progress is gonna happen, but this time we are going to change this leaf number and also with this place this wall and move to corner. Let's just give 10 centimeters. And of course we need more opening in front of the window. So let's match them each other and fix this extended wall. To fix the height of the walls, we can use alt click and we can inject parameters with alt plus shift. All right, now we finish our plan and we can switch the 3D window. In this 3D window, everything looks different. For instance, the building needs to be extended more. Let's select this part and move aside. After doing this, we can fix the height of the purpose. Actually, those are not purpose. They are going to be used as planting paths. So we don't need so much height. Also, we can finish it from the starting position of the window because there will be earth element inside the planting path. So it mustn't cover the sliding doors. We don't want any isolation problem. Also, I want to match all of the height of the walls together. So let's select them and change their height. I want to see them as whole story, story level actually. Once I've fixed the height of the walls, we can change our visibility settings for the floor plan. I want to rule all of the walls in the same story. Once we achieve this, we are going to create more story. Because I'm gonna move this one to another level and in the story settings we can change our elevation settings according to the visibility and our designing purpose. Alright, now it's time to creating slabs. To make this easier I'm going to change the structure type to simple and I'm going to do this with two separate parts. First one is going to be inside and second one is going to be outside. But when I'm making this, in order to see clearly, we must see minus one story too. Let's try to see this and try using them as a border. But unfortunately, magic pan tool isn't working. Unfortunately, it doesn't see underlay. For this reason, we are going to find another way, which is clicking one by one. Alright, there we have our floors. Let's go to 3D view. I think it's time to change materials. Let's select all of the walls. Alt click one wall. Hit Ctrl plus A. And hit Ctrl plus T. Change materials. I'm gonna make stucco white roof. Now it looks better. We need to change the floors too. Side parts is going to be same with the walls materials. And after that we can see our model's problems. We mustn't see any lines if we use same materials. We have a line here, so we need to look into closer. Materials are the same, so let's just extend this to here. To closer. Yeah, I know we have a line here, but in the rendering I think it won't be visible. Once we've done this, we can change the surface of the top part. We can assign tile material to outside and we can assign wood material to inside. You can change the window materials too. To do it, you can use any kind of material or you can create your own. Let's go back to the surface settings again. I've got a shortcut here. You can use options menu. Let's just select a dark material and click new, duplicate, type in a new name. And you can use this one. Once you have created this, you can select your doors. You can go to this model attributes. 
You can also cancel these casings if you want. And from the model attributes, let's click this uniform and assign our new material. And we can click OK. We created a new surface because some objects sharing same material. Therefore, in the rendering process, it cause it can cause problems for us. So I prefer creating new materials or surface for this kind of situations. As I said before, those parts are going to be planting pots, so we need to create a deeper part. We need to increase this height. And also we can change the elevation of this slab. You can design this according to your planting's position. Once we've done this, we can assign an earth material. There we go. We have created our first story. And I think we can duplicate this one to another and we can change some wall's shape and we can create a new type. To make this we are going to do this one by one. First we select all of them and paste into the another story and copy the rest. Once you achieve this you can fix problems in the 3D window. For instance this kind of problem you can fix the story right here or if it's not you can just change the height. Once we have fixed the problems, we can just select all of the elements, just like that, and you can copy to Z direction. But as you can see here, we cannot see the windows because we need to change the window settings. Instead of that, you can go back, select windows, and you can just move. It ups to you, you can do which is going to be quicker. There you go. For the second type of the story, I made some changes. It's time to add some details. For instance, we can add some parapet seals. There are lots of ways to make it. One of them is selecting the base object, base wall, and duplicate along the z-axis and changing the height and material. This one is flying. Let's just select this one and place it to ground. I think it seems much more elegant and we can do the same for these balconies. We are going to duplicate the parapet walls to Z direction. After that I think there will be height problem. Let's just make this one by one. This one first. Change the elevation, material and height. Let's make this five. And also this one. Let's change the height. Make it five. Change the material. Any kind of black. And after that, if you want to add more detail, you can just increase the thickness and width of the marbles via the wall thickness. You can add 5 for each size. After that, you can give some offset value. Now we have more detail and it looks more prominent in the render. We've made this with wall, but if you want to do it with any kind of beam, morph or shell tool of course. But for those tools you need to recreate your sketch in the floor plan. It will be time consuming. Wouldn't it be okay if we didn't make an iron railing right? Let's delete this handrail and we will change the top height. 40 centimeters will be okay. We are gonna make it from the segment part and click OK. To place this you can hit the spacebar and click. But the position is wrong. Let's fix it in the floor plan. Or you can create from scratch. After all clicking the first one you can create the same settings. I think aligning the railing to center will be harmonious each other. 
Sometimes after placing elements you need to fix the visibility order from the settings. You can also play around with the settings for the ending parts. And we will have this. But I think we need to change some settings. I want this to be more elegant. To do that we can delete the segment and gonna add more top rail. If you want to change its position you can change the settings. It's gonna be 20 cm away from the bottom. Offset will be 0. Once you create it first, if you want to create more, you can hit the plus. With that you can do it with eyeball. Just like that. I think one more step in the end we can add ending parts for our railing. I think it looks very lame with this setting. So let's go back to end and let's give it 10 centimeters more. Let's do the same with the left side. There we have created our railing. Now it's time to copy. You can just make this with Shift plus D and we can input 320 centimeters. Alright guys, this is the base part for the how you can create a curved wall facade in ArchiCAD. If you have questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comment section below. If you like the tutorial, please hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe because I am going to make similar tutorials like this. And also, if you want to see more about this tutorial, you can go to my Patreon page to see the rest of the tutorial. Thank you for watching, until the next tutorial, have a nice day.